Hey, welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the first Love Doctor video. This is a series where I basically answer questions that you have concerning the broad topic of love. So the first question is, what do you look for in a potential spouse? And I'm sure you've probably heard some advice before concerning making a nice list and understanding what you want and then when the people that you meet kind of line up with that list you probably cross it off or something and you know you, you know what you want and um, I did that I took the advice and my experience was kind of different I realized that over time the list of mine got pretty short and I'll explain in this little example imagine a little girl imagine you tell you telling her hey I want to buy a laptop what you want in a laptop She'll probably say, well, it had to be pink, it had to have games, and it had to have a touch screen. You know, because that is what she wants. She's a little girl. But at the end of the day, she knows what she wants, but she doesn't know what she needs. Other things like the CPU type and speed and the amount of RAM and the amount of hard drive storage space, all these things are more important factors when it comes to choosing a computer so just like us we know what we want right now but do we necessarily know what we need so a list by itself doesn't really cut it because we might have a list of the things that we want but it mightn't really be a sensible list what happened with me is that as i grew in christ and i got mature things that were kind of superficial kind of superfluous superficial things that were kind of superficial eventually got scratched off the list why not because i didn't want it anymore but i realized that it wasn't as important as certain things like character and i also realized that the things on this list i would want to seek for myself i would want to possess these same qualities that i want to see in a potential spouse what God did was change my focus from what I can get to what I can give what are you bringing to the table if the two of you gonna be yoked together and gonna be pursuing the same journey you kind of have to line up you can't be wanting someone with all these good qualities and you just nobody and concerning the other things on your list like you probably want somebody who's tall you want somebody who's full figured you are a red man these things are not as important as character traits and personalities and different things especially when it comes to spirituality these things carry less weight this is not to say that you should ignore them altogether yes be upfront with the things that you want but at the same time if you place so much weight on trying to get a red man that you ignore particular qualities in this red man five years down the road you will have a red man who beating you who cussing you out but you have a red man so you get what you want but what you wanted wasn't balanced we need to place weight on the right things but hold up don't hold that list too tightly because what you are writing down is most likely a complete person the thing about it is that the only time you're really complete is when you're dead so someone who has a quality that is to die for when they're 40 years old probably at 20 years old they were still developing that quality and you have to understand that you are meeting somebody along the journey you're not gonna meet someone who has everything at one point and even if they have these things it's still a work in progress just like you imperfect and a work in progress also one important thing is to have deal breakers on this list of yours what do i mean by deal breakers things that if a person possesses like qualities habits even beliefs that is a definite no-no so for example you don't want to establish a big long lasting relationship with someone who has a different religious view as you because as cool as that person might be eventually when you want to go this way and they want to go that way you'll just end up with tension and struggle and unnecessary drama 
So you know, have some sensible deal breakers on your list. And all these things would make no sense if you are not building yourself up in the Word of God. You see, the Word of God will inform you as to what you should look for, what you should want. The Word of God will tell you where you need to go in life. Having that relationship with God allows you to see that, hey, this person is a nice person, but our paths, it wouldn't line up. You have to know your purpose. You have to know where you stand. It's not just about getting somebody where you could have sex and make babies. It's a lot more than that. Keep Christ at the center and God will lead you to the right person for you. That is it for this question. Remember, if you have any questions, you can leave the questions in the comment section of this video if you want to be anonymous. If you want to be anonymous, you can send me a message on Facebook. I will not call your name and I will try to answer the question as best as possible grounded in the word of God. So remember to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.